Good day everyone. Thanks for watching on our build with Jay's Week in Woodwork. Back by special request, my wife asked for me to build a display to place the wine glasses. This project turned out amazing. Just wait and see. The how-to is coming up next. Say, did you miss me? I missed you all. It's been a minute since my last upload. Let me bring you up to speed real quick. My garage has gone from crazy to ultra crazy. I'm building piece by piece and keep my post daily with updates on Instagram. Be sure to follow me at Jay's Week in Warworks. Say, many have asked, and yes, I am an army veteran. Now, on with the coffee. Look at these past builds. I tell you what, from the beginning, it has been such a journey, and I appreciate all your support. Now check this out, RoarRocket.com, the veneer is in and the skateboard is coming in collaboration with Rod's Customs. I can't wait to get started. Now, if you haven't already, subscribe. Alright, I want you to join this journey. Like, share your comments below, I really appreciate it. Let's get into it. You'll need some wood. I use 1x6 pine and 1x2 oak. Cut them down to size at 25 inches respectively for the main panel. 20 and a half inches for the two shells. I wish cutting was so quick. As you can see, it takes a minute. I used type on 3 glue to put it all together and then placed a four corner strap to secure it in place. Some additional clamping is handy but not necessary as the glue will set in less than two hours. As for the next step, you guessed it. Sanding, sanding, more sanding. I want all the edges to be soft to skin. This is your opportunity to find any imperfections and smooth them out. Ensure that you start with some 80 grit and work your way up to 180 grit. The orbital sander does the trick every time. Finish up the sanding and it's time to make quick use of the Rockwell circular saw and trim up the lengths that appear to shift a bit during the glue up. No big deal, just quarter off the top, quarter off the bottom. One, two, done and back to sanding. Grrr. Now the fun part, need to measure out one of the shells that will be holding the glasses in place. I decided to measure out a hole for the center with cutouts centered to hold up four glasses, two on each side. This is a first time for me so I used various items to get the job done. Jigsaw was the key along with the use of a couple of chisels. Oh good times. Am I measuring this correctly? Golly I sure hope so. That pen got the best of me. This is the first time I have used a jigsaw in this manner. Now many of you may say that it is for this precise purpose and yet I generally cut straight crooked lines with it all the time. What do you think of the job so far? Let me know in the comments below. Well starting to choose which chisel will work. Not sure big small. Am I doing this right? Nope. Remove the silicone mat beneath so as to not place a new hole in it. I think I figured it out by the way. Slowly but surely getting those edges cut and well you guessed it more sanding. Only this time I am making swift of this process and with a good old Dremel tool you know it works. Do you use one of these? Quite handy if you ask me. You may notice the video went right into staining. But I did place some wood conditioner prior to staining these pieces. It goes well with the overall finish. Don't worry, there is a freeze frame to see the projects I used on this project. It's coming along quite nicely now, isn't it? Don't worry, I did not have a drink until the completion but you may find my use of measurements at this point quite interesting to say the least. Let's see, does this work? Does this work? How do you put this thing together? This is why you have a doodle book. This is why you have tools. This is why you have a plan. Work smarter, not harder. My wife came out of the garage door and I wasn't paying any attention. I accidentally placed a screw from the back in the center of the board 
realized it went right through the point where the glasses would enter the rack. Well, needless to say, tink, tink, tink. Guess I need to pay better attention. Wow, now look at that. A nice new addition to our dining room. Hung from two studs and beautiful talking piece with nice steel piping to boot. So, what do you think? Any suggestions? I will consider building any mentioned projects in the comments below. Let's keep the journey going. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and join the journey along with me. If you have an Instagram account, be sure to follow me at Jay's Weekend Woodwork for daily postings and DM me your address to share along a branded sticker.